today I'm going to be showing you how to build the Spitfire Mark 16 by ICM. I'm going to unbox it, crack on with the build, and I'll do it step by step. And we'll actually finish this one completely off in this video, paint it everything.
in conclusion it's made an half decent kit in all honesty it's got a lot of detail especially with an engine the framework that holds it and in fact these sides can come off so you can see even more at engine the cockpit is nicely detailed the only problem I've got with cockpit is the seat has got no seat belts now they could have done a, a, a one with decals which a lot seem to do the decals themselves the the good decal I mean if you look at them they look absolutely brilliant when they're on but the very little ones were a nightmare to put on literally a nightmare but that's probably me more than it was the decals themselves because as you can see the small ones have still gone on oh, small ones have still gone on nicely there and I mean it's it does look lovely I made a mistake obviously you can see on some of them some of these decals here I've tried covering it up with as if it's chipping but you can see we are some of these they got caught by when I were pulling the masking off and that's my own fault I was I were kind of rushing to get it done because I, I kind of had enough of this kit to be honest but there was some faults with it that oh, here and here it wouldn't sit down nice the seam and on this side I've done a lot better job you can see there I mean there was quite a gap and I ended up using uh, sprue goo or whatever it is what people call it but it's just Tamiya ultra thin cement with some uh, bits of plastic in it some old Tamiya cement by the way for that in an old bottle and you just mix it up leave it for a day or so and it becomes virtually like melted plastic you just dip it on and when it's done sand it off added a bit here but I don't think I've kind of got it as good there maybe should have had a little bit more but it is a nice kit as a build and obviously you've got your parts that were for these excess panels access panels access panels and you've got the machine guns in it did look a little bit better and I have put machine gun bullets in they're not the greatest I'll be honest with you I did them quick it was just something to get it done and dusted but this is my problem this is the, one of the main ones I've had with it that is the instructions now don't get me wrong people with young eyesight and anything like that people who are used to more technical style drawings they wouldn't have a problem with it probably but me that was a pain that's a lot of pieces all and, and all it just shows you is just as if it were on there's no uh, finishing part showing you what it's like when it's done it's just showing you lots of part pushed together like that I would have preferred as well for the colour sheet to have been a better colour uh, better for it'd be nicer if it were actually coloured I mean they've got red here so why couldn't they have just done some colouring on that a couple of mistakes that they've made the V there it's better on this side as it shows you V there the black well black I think I presume it's black if you look you've got your colour section here P C D E F G P no no V so you're just going to do it with everything. I've done them black, same as what the rest is, presuming. I may be wrong, but that's what I've done. Overall, I think it was about £14, something like that, or £13 for a kit of that money. I mean, somewhat, there's a lot of 172 kits now, Spitfires, and that they are actually. 14, 13, 14 quid, so you're getting a lot of kit for a very small price. Yeah. Time for the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody. Subscribe, like, all helps the channel. See you around later.